Hi Cancer, I am Anisha. To know more about my work, you may visit my website www.tarubayanisha.com For those of you who are interested in a personal reading, be it for your career or for your relationships, for a personal consultation, you may write to me at tarubayanisha at gmail.com Cancerians, it's a, a quite a transformative month for you. And uh, there's a favorite uh, quote from the enlightened Buddha. It says that there are three things in this world that can't be hidden. The sun, the moon and the truth. And we have a full moon that is there, which is shining a light on a part of your chart that is quite intense. And full moons are normally about fruition, that something is coming to an end, something which has served its purpose and now you need to be moving ahead. And for you, this is, speaks about um, your partners uh, or people who are closest to you on in an intimate way. Or it can also be business partners, but people who you are very closely connected with. Uh, this uh, full moon is going to be bringing about a lot of clarity as to you know, the things that we are carrying with us. Now they can be emotional, they can literally be physical. Maybe there is some um, transformation, a physical transformation of the things that you have been holding that needs to get done. Uh, it could also be the emotional baggage that some of you have been carrying that needs to be put to rest. Um, you know, uh, when this house, uh, it, it's, it's a house of taxes, it's a house of shared resources, specifically your partner's resources, and it's also the house of sexual intimacy and also psychological issues. And uh, with the full moon over here, uh, it's focusing a lot on a give and take. What is it that you have received and how willing it is that you know, you're giving? Also, it can mean that in certain cases an expense gets occurred you know, because of a partner. And uh, you could, in some cases, you could lose a project. Um, in some cases, it speaks about a lot of undercurrents of, of power play. Who brings what on the table? And uh, I think full moon over here is also asking you to to transform, to, to bring about a change on a certain pattern with which you have been going and because it rules with money and I think that is where the most of the power play between couples happens is that you need to be loosening your grip a bit on that fist and uh, I'm not saying that you are uh, being miserly cancerians but I think that there is a fear about uh, you know am I getting my due and I get you know, so and so on the table, but is my partner doing the same as well? Um, like in all relationships, you know, there, there are times when you give more and, and there are times when um, you get more. And uh, it's a constant seesaw and forever couples are trying to balance the equation between, you know, uh, sometimes you're up and sometimes you're down and, and that is how it is. But uh, with the full moon over here, with the clarity coming on, what is it that needs to be let on of? What is it that needs to get transformed in you as far as finances are concerned? And uh, it's a, um, it's it's something that will sort of just come about in a way quick and a sudden way for you. Know, right? The realization it can be something that you are, um, you know, you've not been aware about it, it just sort of hits you, uh, about your partner. In certain cases, it can also be a pregnancy indicator. You know, that maybe you've not been planning a baby and boom. You know. uh, so, uh, I would say as far as the power struggle is concerned, as far as the personal equation is concerned, it's a time to be transforming those knots inside you. What is it that gets your triggers off? What is it that's making you so fearful as far as finances are concerned. Is there a lot of distrust that is there? And this full moon is sort of bringing the needle back to where the, uh, the underlying problems really lie. So uh, you need to be looking at your relationship, which are close relationships, very carefully and seeing as to where it is that the transformation can be made. 
On the fifth, we have Mercury, uh, which comes and joins the sun in your house of earned resources, and this is also the house of self worth. And uh, it's a big focus of this month because we also have a new moon on the 18th in this house. And uh, you're going to be taking your time with Mercury being there to make your decisions and uh, a lot of uh, conversations and you don't want to rush into things you know, if you want to take a decision as far as uh, maybe your job is concerned and uh, because it has to do with other people's money. This is the money that you go out in the world and you earn. And uh, you're going to be busy gathering information uh, that is there you know, for some of you it means a new job a new way of earning money with the new moon being over there on the 18 there are full indications that uh, you know, that you have been offered a job or a new project and you're thinking more about it maybe the negotiations the discussions that are there and uh, the uh, sun is basically it's speaking about a lot of comfort that you're looking at what is it how is it that the money can give you the kind of comfort the material the physical comfort that you are uh, seeking and uh, all of this, the sun, the moon, and the uh, uh, sorry, the sun, the Mercury, and the new moon is, is speaking about your set of values. What is it that brings you uh, comfort? What is it that gives you security, your emotional security? Uh, and for that, I mean, is it how much is it that I have in bank? Uh, you know, uh, that is what makes you feel uh, very secure. And uh, try not to spend extravagance, could be sort of we uh, highlight this month, you, know, you may end up spending more than you had planned for, so try and sort of keep uh, that in the uh, in the check. And because this house deals with disposable income, it's uh, a, a time that uh, not just a new project, it could be a new job. And some of you could be Literally, be, you could have entered a new job, or there's a possibility that you have just uh, moved location and you've just started work out, out there, and you know you're looking at me, you buying things as of now. Um, try again not to, not that Mercury is retrograde. Uh, try, however, not to make a very big investment. You could have a buyer's remorse by the end of it. On the eighth, we have Venus that is moving into your own sign and uh, can say that this is a, a lovely place for uh, Venus to be in and you know you are going to be um, you would want to be the center stage uh, of the conversations and with the current challenging uh, with the pandemic scenario I know that there is you know social distancing and all of us are trying to be as safe and careful as possible but uh, virtually at least you would want your voice to be heard you, know, you would want to be a part of the forums and uh, if it's uh, however uh, with Venus being out there and with the focus being on there uh, you could be looking out for uh, love at workplace you know you could be um, looking out uh, for a um, little bit of excitement and you could be pampering yourself it also speaks about doing a complete uh, a makeover for yourself. You could be getting a new wardrobe. You could be, um, you could just be getting a new haircut and doing things a brand new you. You, know, you would want to present the new you to the world. And uh, uh, I think it is uh, try also. You know why a lot of focus is there on the external thing, but on the internal bit of it also try and be pleasing. Uh, try and sort of be more gentler. Um, you know, I think that being courteous, being polite, uh, being considerate, I think is, is one of the uh, very Venusian uh, aspects as well. And you know, more than the physical beauty, I think this is something that sort of tends to get uh, missed out. On the 20th, we have Mercury that is moving into your house of communication, siblings, and community. And uh, then on the third, we have Sun that moves over. Now, it's uh, with the Mercury transit, it's going to be very hard for you to sort of stay still. You know, too many thoughts and um, you know, ideas jumping from uh, one thing to another, and it'll be very hard for you to contain your mind to your thoughts. And uh, you could be sort of be running ahead of yourself, and you could constantly be thinking about things, you could be planning, you could be. Uh, 
thinking about investments that you can make and also the place where you live, the community, maybe it has to do with your neighbors, there could be a lot of conversations, maybe you want to beautify, maybe you live in a condo, maybe you want to do something collectively over there. And uh, with the, um, with sun coming over there, there is it's a great time to be starting to learn something new. It's a wonderful time to be picking up a new language, maybe, um, you know, uh, take an online course and your mind is going to be really sharp and open during this time. And this is also uh, a time because you would uh, you would have trouble with anything that is long term uh, cancelling. So, so try and look at things which are really not projects which are really long drawn out. Try and look at shorter things on which you can focus and then you can you know sort of uh, uh, manage it in your schedule. Now Mars is going to be there in your house of uh, career reputation and uh, this is how we also project ourselves to the world and Mars interestingly after a very long time it's uh, it's there for about six months normally Mars is not uh, more than about I think six to eight weeks it's never been longer than that but this time it's there for six months and it's unduly it's been long it does go retrograde next month in September but um, that's another video I'll do uh, hopefully for that but uh, um, Mars is going to be bringing about a lot of ambition, a lot of, uh, I would say, energy and also aggressiveness, you know, to move ahead in your work. Uh, there is, you want to succeed, you know, so there is this need to want to prove yourself to the world, leave your mark, be the leader, you know, all of that is uh, going to be there. And of course, you know, you have been working hard on a project which may have just uh, finished and you could be focusing a lot on your work for the next six months. I think work is going to sort of uh, take, be the priority for you for the next six months, whether it's picking up new projects, rolling out new projects. And uh, in certain cases, some of you could be starting a new business completely. You could be moving on to a, a absolutely different new career path or, you know, uh, than, the, uh, than the previous one that you were doing. And, there's going to be this sense of confidence because this house also brings about a lot of credibility, brings about accolades and people are going to be, uh, you know, uh, sort of supporting you and you know, saying that yeah, yeah, he does a great job, let's collaborate and let's invest and let's do this work. It's been lovely speaking with you Cancerians. I know I have not been regular and uh, hopefully from now I will try and uh, be regular. And um, stay safe uh, during these uh, challenging times. Uh, yes, they are very stressful times, but uh, one day at a time. And um, your followership, your subscriptions to my channel make a lot of difference to my work. It allows me to create more new content. So do keep spreading the good word around, do keep sharing. My channel, my work, it will allow me to create more work um, for all of you. So I'll see you soon next month, Cancerians. Stay safe and thank you so much for watching.